we have seen globalization and the Indian economy. Now we can go through the textbook pages. The textbook uh, pages should be familiar with you. The most often the question comes from the textbook lines they will quote and ask. So page 55, yes they return our markets have been transformed. Uh, that we have seen that page. Second page, fifth, page 56. That is spreading of production by MNCs, example of industrial equipment. They are the definition of multinational companies. Then page 57, interlinking production across countries. Interlinking production across countries. There we have seen where multinational companies are setting up their production. That is where the cheaper labor, cheaper capital or cheaper resources, the proximity to market that is close market conditions are government preference preferential policies where the multinational companies start their production that we have seen them then the twofold merits of the local companies because of the multinational companies that page like that it goes then next page we can see how multinational companies control production four methods are there first one they will make partnership with the local companies they will make partnership with the local company that is investment how they invest in local companies second point is that they place orders for production they place orders for production means they will ask either raw materials or they will ask finished products they will ask to supply the multinational companies. Uh, raw materials we have seen the industrial equipment company of USA that is from different uh, uh, countries they were collecting and assembling the products and uh, in Parak foods we have seen they are really um, uh, buying the product that is edible oil that is Parak foods were the uh, company in India and uh, Cargill Foods were in USA, they came here, that time Parag Foods had about 4 oil refineries and Parag Foods had a large network of marketing networks they had and uh, that is why the multinational companies were made collaboration with the Parag Foods because the multinational company does not know where is the market for their product. So they made a collaboration with the Parag Foods and uh, at last they took the uh, control of the Parag Foods and now daily about 5 million pouches are sold in the market. And uh, the third point is that the, uh, if the local companies uh, could not compete after all the fourth point comes the multinational company will buy them. So first one partnership, second one placing order with the local companies but the local company will give the product to the multinational company but the multinational company will write the name, their name, their brand name, they will control the quality of the product, they will control the labor conditions, so the every important aspects may be controlled by the multinational companies and uh, if uh, sometimes the local companies will compete they will not support the multinational company they will compete with the multinational company and the fourth point is that if it is not possible to compete at last the multinational company will take over the local company then page 59 it is it is telling about the example of ford motors from america came to uh, india uh, uh, started the company in chennai uh, mahindra and mahindra collaboration with mahindra and mahindra in india and uh, they started to export the goods also to uh, South Africa, Mexico, Brazil, USA, etc. That is the importance of example of Ford Motors. Then foreign trade and integration of markets. Foreign trade and integration of markets that I told in the first session of the class how they are exporting, uh, what we are doing crossing the boundaries that is exporting and importing. Then page number 60, Chinese toys in India. What, is, what about the Chinese toys in India? That is uh, our uh, Chinese, pro our products, our toys, when we are comparing our products with the Chinese toys, it is uh, costlier. Then Chinese products are cheaper, one thing. Another thing is that from China, they, we got the toys with a, a peculiar designs, different designs they, they had. So, and cheaper price, both of them were attracted by the, the uh, Indian consumers were attracted by these two factors cheaper and newer designs 
So at last our toy manufacturers could not copy the Chinese toys. So most often they, they started to perish. And um, next page, uh, page 61. Uh, first paragraph it tells about foreign trade thus results in connecting the markets for integration of markets in different countries. That is foreign trade thus results in connecting the markets or integration of markets in different countries. That is the last uh, uh, line written there. Here we can see that because of foreign trade almost the same product in different countries tends to be the same. What is sold in another country, the same product sold in, in our country, almost the price tends to be the same. Then comes beneath that, what is globalization? What is globalization? Where the multinational company starts production and uh, next page it is telling about the definition of globalization. Uh, there comes uh, factors that have enabled globalization, that is technology. When we talk about technology, we can see that uh, when we uh, talk about technology, that is uh, information and technology, we have to say computer, internet, etc. We can say then more than that, uh, in the page 62, they are talking about containers. What is important is containers, that is transportation is very important regarding production and uh, the connected process. So, these multinational companies uh, enabled the containers. Containers can carry huge uh, enough uh, goods from one place to another and intact, that is the word used there, loaded intact into ships, uh, aeroplanes, railways, trucks, etc. So, this led to the huge reduction of the transportation cost. That is the importance of the containers. And, uh, 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 next page, page 63, they are asking, I told you already in this page, it is written about the technology, information technology, that is information and communication technology, that is IT and how the IT is spreading production, production of services, that is written, the example is how London company asks the Delhi company to produce, uh, publish magazines. How the Delhi company will uh, publish magazines? The London company has sent the design of the magazine and the text of the ma magazine with the help of computer and Delhi they started to publish it. What is the reason? Cheaper labor, cheaper factories of production, cheaper material, cheaper resources. That is why they, uh, they produce and after all they send back to London. Then next page, page 64, we have seen the trade barrier, then liberalization, removing barriers or restrictions set by government is what we call it as liberalization. Liberalization led to globalization. Then page 65, it tells about World Trade Organization. World Trade Organization. Before that, one thing I want to tell that page 58. Uh, that uh, what I told about the Cargill and uh, the Parag Foods, end of that page it is written, as a result production in this widely dispersed location is getting interlinked, one sentence is written. That way ending the paragraph or starting the paragraph, that paragraph it is written, thus we see that there are a variety of ways in which multinational companies are spreading their production and interaction with the lo local producers in various countries across the globe. If that way it is written, the same thing you can write partnership, ordering place, order the place of the products or competing and buying them. But the same thing is written there. But they, will, they can ask, the board can ask, the textbook lines they can quote and ask the question. Then come back to the page 65, here World Trade Organization we have seen, then debate on trade practices. Here example is that WTO is asking or WTO is uh, standing for the liberalization. Their motive is liberalization of foreign trade and foreign investment. So they asked uh, uh, developing countries to stop giving uh, subsidy to the producers. Let the uh, trade be free. 
but uh, in the case of USA the USA is giving enormous uh, subsidy to the farmers even though the agriculture sector contributes one percentage of the GDP we can see that the USA is a support USA supporting the farmers so the farmers can sell the products at lower price in the international market there is a debate going on regarding whether to continue subsidy or not then next is the impact of globalization the regarding the impact of globalization first paragraph is telling about how the consumers well of consumers from urban area are benefiting next we have seen the producers and workers are not benefiting in the uniform way first uh, the page that page 66 and 67 pages it is telling how they are benefiting how the producers are benefiting how the uh, producers are benefiting regarding automobile cell phone soft drinks fast food etc and how the top indian companies became the multinationals how it became emerged as multinational how job opportunities were created in the it field etc given then so that is regarding most of the impact regarding the uh, the impact which given to advantageous group and uh, there we have seen the special economic zone also and uh, special economic zone then page 68 uh, we can see uh, regarding small producers compete or perish small producers compete or perish means because of the free trader uh, the Revi could not stand or the Revi has had to reduce the production because the same things the capacities were available in our market because of the import because of the import the capacities price came down so no more Revi could not employ more workers earlier he was employing about 20 workers now he is reduced because his profit is reduced and uh, uh, several other producers batteries capacities plastics toys tires etc they are these producers were also those who are producing these products were also had to close down their industries because of the free trade so this is the impact on indian producers because of the globalization demerits or disadvantaged groups the same way worker group workers so, uh, uh, it is of course we can see that the people those are uh, uh, rich or the skilled people or educated people are getting enough jobs highly paid jobs they are getting but in the unorganized sector like Sushila's case they are getting their permanent employment into a temporary basis and not getting the security measures that means pf or other health insurance like that they are not getting and uh, over time they are not getting double rate and they have to work uh, in the even the night shifts without additional payments or it is regularly they are working uh, late night or night shifts so that that led to the uh, we can see that the pathetic condition of the workers of indian india because of the globalization there are also competition and uncertain employment that is written heading competition and uncertain employment means it is no uh, surety or protection or security to their job temporary basis anytime the employer can ask them to leave from that that particular firm so that is temporary basis no job security no wage at all if you are taking leave like that it goes then so these pages are regarding the limitations even it is impact itself if they disadvantage the group they ask you can ask write this then coming to next page struggle for a fair globalization what is uh, there also in the top also they have written conditions of work and the hardships of the workers described above have become common in many industry units and service in india most of the workers are employed and uh, in employing in unorganized sector unorganized sector that another word also we are use employer can use employer can employ the people in a flexible manner flexible means not permanent basis they can make some discretion they can fix the price fix the wage it may not be the even the minimum wage like that and uh, struggle for fairer globalization we have seen what is what what is meant by fairer globalization whatever benefit we are making that should be equally distributed all of them should get benefit but from our globalization all of them are not benefited another point is that it is not distributed those who benefited that have they have not 
shared in a better way so our uh, answer is in through the fairer globalization we are aiming at uh, that is whatever benefits we got from globalization it should be distributed equally or, or almost all of them should have the benefits number one second point is that it should be shared in a better way for that purpose government should take certain uh, programs and policies so that is the end ending picture of the globalization lesson go through the textbook lines uh, read the every uh, paragraphs what is starting what is lasting in between you may be knowing but the first line may be very important last paragraph ending may be important thus like that they will ask what is it like that so each and every line you should go through that no, not the simply points you have to study what is the headlines go through always what is the headline okay prepare well and uh, uh, study and write the exam okay thank you